What we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Pres of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I know that half of this cabinet or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet are for our actually young global leaders of the world they come right. for. Constituent that wanted me to ask a question about outside interference to our democracy. Klaus Schwab is the head of the World Economic Forum and he bragged how his subversive WWEF World Economic Forum has quoted infiltrated governments around the world. He said that his organization had penetrated more than half of Canada's cabinet. And I was wondering, in the interest of transparency, could the member please name which cabinet ministers are on board with the WEF's agenda? My concern is the deputy. Uh, order, order, order. I, I know it was. I know the, uh, the member was in a, a really good, good question there, but the, the the audio is really, really bad, and the video is really, really bad as well. Um, and I and I and I apologize. I don't know if if the member. Okay. Hi. Hi. Meeting after meeting, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau rubbed shoulders with the movers and shakers in Davos. From Facebook to Microsoft executives, billionaire George Soros and the CEO of Shell. Thank you, Professor Schwab, for your uh, warm welcome and for bringing this impressive group together. We will see definitively a lot of anger um, already now, but probably increased by the end of the year. Uh, because this crisis will be with us until we really have found a remedy. So um, we have to prepare for a more angry world. And uh, how to prepare? Uh, it means to take the necessary action. Here comes the horses. Are you breathing a sigh of relief yet? A sigh of relief? No. I, I never get ahead of myself. I'll greet every sigh, you know, as Yogi Berry used to say, it ain't over till it's over. The virus rides the roofs. And this one, like all influenza viruses, can change the rules without rhyme or reason at any time. Eventually, what we'll have to have is certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person, because you don't want people moving around the world where you'll have some countries that won't have it under control. Sadly, you don't want to completely block off the ability for those you know, people to go there and come back and move around. People to go there and come back and move around. So eventually there will be sort of this digital uh, immunity proof uh, that you know, will help facilitate the global reopening up. This will be the new normal until a vaccine is developed. Until we find a vaccine, going back to normal means putting lives at risk. We need to produce it and to deploy it in every single corner of the world. Full vaccination of our children and pregnant women. Development of new vaccines, therapeutics, and diagnostics. And more effectual vaccines and therapeutics are developed. I am a scientist. We've already bought the syringes. We already know where it's going to happen. We're thinking about what that's going to be. It's all part of this plan. You're pushing us against concrete. Well, then you guys stop pushing us against the concrete. Do you get a kick? Oh, how am I supposed to move? Oh, but this guy grabbing me. Look at this officer. You're pushing us against concrete. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't. Okay, okay, guys, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Stop. 
to eliminate this virus anywhere, we need to eliminate it everywhere. In the past two weeks, Justin Trudeau has tried to portray himself as a champion of protesters, the farmers in India. The Canadian Prime Minister has meddled in India's internal affairs twice. On both occasions, he said a lot. But now Justin Trudeau has gone silent. Fingers are being raised at his own government. The government of Justin Trudeau spent billions of dollars of public funds in the name of pandemic aid, but there's no accountability. The Trudeau government refuses to say who got this money, and we're not talking about a small sum. We are talking about $240 billion here, $240 billion. The investigation has been carried out by the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, or CBC, the National Public Broadcaster of Canada. They have been probing how the Trudeau government distributed financial aid during this pandemic. According to this report, $240 billion have been distributed, but no one knows who got this money. Here is what the report says. The Canadian government has launched more than 100 programs since the pandemic began, but only a few departments have released details of how they are spending this money. There are no details of the individuals, groups or companies which have received government funds. CBC tried to gather this information, but some government departments have been fighting the broadcaster, quote unquote, tooth and nail. The Trudeau government is denying them this information. In other words, billions of dollars have been spent from the public exchequer. The question is, where has this money gone? And the answer is the government's silence. What we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, that we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I know that half of this cabinet or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet are for our actually young global leaders of the world economic right. forum. constituent that wanted me to ask a question about outside interference to our democracy. Klaus Schwab is the head of the World Economic Forum and he bragged how his subversive WWF World Economic Forum has quoted infiltrated governments around the world. He said that his organization had penetrated more than half of Canada's cabinet. And I was wondering, in the interest of transparency, could the member please name which cabinet ministers are on board with the WEF's agenda? My concern is the deputy. Uh, order, order, order. I, I know it was. I know the, uh, the member was in a, a really good, good question there, but the, the the audio is really, really bad, and the video is really, really bad as well. Um, and I and I and I apologize. I don't know if if the member. Okay. Why is the camera in my face right now? Are you, you here partaking? You walked right up now to you're me. in the red zone? I'm scared. I want to go for a coffee down there. Okay. Can I, can you, I go for a coffee? Where is your residence now? Right Do you now. live in this? No, you're not excluded here, from that. I, Where do you good. live? Alberta. Time for you to leave. I can't even go down there for no, a coffee. No, go grab yourself in the red zone right now. If you don't leave right now, you will be arrested. Do you understand me? I can't go for a coffee. Grab yourself if you see, we'll be controlling all day. If we see you again, it'll be different. Leave. Take your camera and get out of here. Do you understand that? Walk away. Your phone doesn't need to be in our face when you're walking away. Go. Are you going to walk or are you going to get arrested? I, I was Go. walking now. away. Get out of here.